you know, Ravenhead is a place that I am incredibly proud of. It's got a magical quality, it's achieved some results that I don't think anybody, um, you know, would have imagined. When you see a young person that you've, you've invited in from day one, they may have been let down in the past and quite distrustful of, you know, anybody that's not outside their initial kind of circle of friends. But the path that I was going down, I think I would, would definitely have been homeless. I think I'd have no friends, nothing. And what we need to do from day one is kind of rebuild that trust, that self-belief in the, the individual and show everybody that, you know, they have got worth, they have got talent and they've got a place in society. With the support of and guidance of the Revenant Fire, I wouldn't be able to get this job. I didn't have no confidence whatsoever and they just helped build and build and build. And that past can act as an anchor to your success. If you want to remain there in the past, you know, it's not going to work out. But if you come with us on this journey, it allows us to support you in the right way and give you the tools you need to succeed. You know, we promise everybody that it will, you know, the, the future will be much brighter for them. The young people here are kind of pushed to be in education, training, things like that. So I think that's a really good morals of Ravenhead Fire as well, that they kind of do push. They pushed me as well when I, when I lived here, so it's not just the, your residents that are here now. I've got really fond memories of, of fire and I was saying to Paula then when we was walking around, it doesn't even smell the same, it smells like paint, but it does look lovely. I'm glad that your housing group has renovated the fire because it makes me a lot more proud of where I live and how it looks really nice. I mean, we identified that we didn't need one physical space for an IT suite as we used to have. So we turned that space into a, a cardio gym. Just got a better and I just, I was on the running machines, just with the headphones and just pretending that you're running, you're just running away from everything. Like, if you get like in a down mood, you could just say, like, I'm going for a run. YHG in general have always had a good relationship with, uh, with young people's services. You know, if we look after the young people that we have from day one, uh, teach them right and, you know, put them on the right path, uh, I think, you know, it is a no-brainer, really. When I, when I got my job as a project officer, I said I've not got experience as a project officer, but I have got experience as a service user. I um, didn't follow conventional routes at all. Left home at 16, had a child very young. But then after that, I've gone to uni. I've got, you know, a job now that I, I enjoy doing. So it's always good to know how it feels to be sat on the other side of the table, isn't it? You need places like this for young people. I think it's such a tricky age from 16 onwards where you feel like you know everything, you, you feel you've wanted this independence, but you still need a bit of support. And I just think this is a perfect in the middle, rather than being left to your own devices. It's great to have the staff there and for them going from seeing me as a, a 16 year old flouncing around the place to being on training with me and things like that. It must be a bit strange for them. It means, it means a lot to me, really. It was home, really. It's probably about it, just home. I wouldn't describe it as anything else.